just that. Alright, fools. It's time to befeat this puzzle. This is what's happening. Hello, gambling. Uh, I gotta tell the Discord that I'm doing this, and then we gotta go full steam ahead. I got an hour and a half to do this. Whoa, fuck. Jesus. Oh, that's right, it's the link to the main YouTube app. It's still got ads on. <sighs> You know, I tried to install, like, this old Hearing Saver app to keep the volume levels at, like, zero whenever I unplug my headphones. It just doesn't work. Stupid thing. Anyway. You're doing online jigsaw puzzles. Okay. Well, it's, it's good to be in, in, in like-minded company, you know. Anyway, at everyone, come watch me fucking befeat this. Ugh. God damn it, I have to sneeze. I've been sneezing so much lately, I'm really not happy about it. Gah. Ugh. Jesus. I think I might be developing allergies. Anyway, finally, got this piece of Gyarados. Am I winning? I'm always winning. I'm like Charlie Sheen. Winning. Man, remember that meme. Remember the good old days. What the fuck? Oh my god. How does that not work? Am I being lied to? How does that not work? It should go there. It doesn't, though. Oh, wait, maybe it goes up here. Obviously. We don't own many physical puzzles and they don't make Warhammer puzzles. Oh, yeah, that's the truth. Just a critical lack of fandom puzzles for every fandom except Mario and Harry Potter. Hello, Val. Before everything went down the drain. Yeah, I remember when the craziest shit we were talking about was Charlie Sheen's tiger blood. Best thing you do to puzzles are Sudoku. Yeah. Ugh, I might have to get up and get some Kleenex. This sucks. Anyway. I gotta I gotta do this. I gotta do this fast. I gotta speed up. I gotta go to work again. Oh, here it is. This is yes, it's that. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not okay, because when I finish this, I won't have a puzzle to do anymore, so... PML on Suicide Watch, I guess. I picked out a few, uh... Blastoise pieces beforehand. Hello, Crystal. You're replaying Platinum. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, well, this is part of this dude. Yeah, that guy. If I'm saying that guy, it's because I don't remember his name. Fuck me. That goes there, I guess. Pikachu is probably gonna be pretty easy. It's the blue guys that are the issue. We've still got Lapras to deal with. Jeez. God damn it. I gotta blow my nose. Ugh. I've been bamboozled by my own sinuses. I can't deal with this. Fuck. Fucking headphones. <sighs> Get bamboozled by my own headphones, my own fucking nose. 
You can't trust anybody. And that's the truth. Gen 4 seems so bland to me in terms of color. Everything is so mid-tone. I don't know. I don't think I've ever played it. Is it... Is it Diamond? I don't... I don't know. Is that Gen 4? Uh, fuck it. I like Jigglypuff. That's a cool Pokemon. <laughs> does that not work? It's yellow. What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> diamond, pearl, and platinum. Okay, I never played platinum. I played diamond, though. Not sure if I ever beat it. bit of a bad mood this morning. Fucking woke up. Well, I didn't wake up. I went to bed. But the issue is, is that yesterday I I came home from whatever fucking thing I was doing, and I realized I don't have any fucking food. Like, I just didn't have any food in my apartment, so I had to go shopping and wear a mask, because that's part of the new bylaws now. It's like, yeah, my mom bought me a fancier mask, but I still don't like wearing it because it fogs up my glasses. And I know that means, like, if, it, if the air is coming up through the top of your mask, that means you're wearing it incorrectly, but I cannot get it to stop doing that. Waking up is the worst part of your day. Yeah, same. I just woke up. I woke up like this. I woke up angry and I stayed angry. And I can't be stopped. Alright. This is a... I don't know. Fucking... I can't be part of Lapras. Somebody tell Lapras to stop being a bitch. I mean, I guess it's gotta be part of Lapras because it's not fitting with any of the other blue ones, so. Jerk. How oh, good. I wake up in the morning feeling real shitty. That doesn't really work with the rhyming scheme from TikTok, but whatever. Tick tock on the clock and the party gonna stop when I go to bed. Alright, I got him. No? Yes? No? I don't... No, that doesn't work, does it? No, it doesn't. I'm not... It's not working. Whatever, I know that goes there. Shut up. I'm awesome. <sighs> Man, this Blastoise guy. He's got real long fingernails. Don't know how I feel about that. And wake up from a good dream. Oh, I did do that. I was. Oh. Fuck, now I'm trying to remember it because it was like a really interesting TV show. Like, it was one of those dreams where, like, I have a good idea for a TV show, which it also might be a real TV show that I'm forgetting about. Something about this guy, and. <sighs> he was talking to, like, this magic king. 
who was like a mob boss. I guess it's kind of just like the Fae, I guess. Um, yeah. And he was about to say some crazy shit, but then the Magic King's butler just... He... It was like this magic glass of some kind of juice where, like, you put it on their head or, like, in their hands and all of a sudden, like, they're powerless. It was just... It was the butler and his thing was always saying, I think not. That was the only line he ever said in the show. I don't know. I feel like Tumblr would get some mileage out of that. Jim to a female samurai in a pink kimono with a fox mask fighting soldiers at the Great Wall of China. That's fucking badass, dude. <laughs> I wish I dreamt a shit like that. Hey, this is part of that guy. Oh. I don't really know what to say about it. I'm still looking for the last piece of Eevee. I don't know where that dude went. I know there's like a lot of available Pikachu pieces, but I don't want to use them first. Then I'll just have a, an abundance of blue pieces left. You haven't remembered a dream in forever. Well, I guess at least you can't be traumatized by them then. Although, to be honest, dreaming is pretty much the only reason why I ever want to sleep. You know? Like, sleeping sucks ass, but at least there might be some entertainment value in it. Get some good ideas. Although good ideas seem to be in short supply lately. Hmm. What the fuck? What? I don't know where this goes. And I feel like I really should. It's just an edge piece. I don't like what the fuck. Okay, well, we'll put a rain check on that, I guess. I had dreams that are just a normal day, and then I wake up and go, fuck, I have to do all that again. Dude, same. I fucking hate whenever I start a new job. Immediately, like, I can never sleep at the, the night afterwards, because it's all just like, oh, I'm at work again, and it's just repeating. Fucking hate that shit. I don't even know. That guy's head is so big. It's ridiculous. That? Come on, tell me it's that. What the fuck? How is it not that? Yeah, good. Jesus. I don't think I'd be in the mood to writing at 6 a.m. daily. Yeah, the only time I ever really write down my dreams is when, like, they're a really good idea. Like, I'll just wake up and I'll be like, holy shit, that's a great idea for a story, and then I'll just take out my notes app and just, like, just write down everything. Of course, they're, the notes are confusing without context, because they're just, like, quick little notes to remind myself, but, you know, better than nothing. That one's not lying flat. It's got, like, a curve at the bottom. How annoying. Alright. He's almost, he's almost befeated. I don't know where this goes. One of, the, one of the gear doses. Is it there? No. Is it there? Yes. You got a dream section in your phone's now. It's not cool. That's a good idea. I 
It is interesting how, like, sometimes your dreams can have better world building by accident than entire stories you could write. Increases your chances of lucid dreaming. I've tried lucid dreaming a lot. Every time I've ever managed it, I just... It just doesn't totally work out. I've heard there are some techniques to give you better success, like, um... Like, uh, instead of just trying to, like, force yourself into a scenario, you have to say things like, I wish, or suggest it verbally. Which sometimes works. Not, not all the time, though. I know I've had dreams where I become lucid and then I forget I am, you know? It's always annoying. Like, I'll look back and I was just like, I had control for a brief moment. And then, nothing. It's like, even when I know I'm dreaming, I can't be in charge of it all. <sighs> My brain won't give me admin, admin permission. <sighs> Such bullshit. Wait, wait, this is a dream, and then it seemed like reality began to break down. Ooh, yeah, those are spooky. Where everything just kind of falls apart because you realize it's not real. It's like something out of a fucking movie. Hello, Calvin. Thought he was in a lot of arthritis-like pain. Hey, same. I My hand fucking hurts right now, and I don't know why. Okay, this has got to go here. Great. We're doing this. I'm, I'm, I'm punching a clock here. Okay, this is an edge piece. What is this doing here? It goes in there. Jesus. Getting fooled by myself again. But I won't get fooled again. What the? Okay, that's that's confusing. I'm gonna leave that there. What am I playing now? I think it's pretty obvious. Oh, check this out. Evie is defeated. Check it out. Next in the evolution line, Vaporeon is defeated. Yeah. Your brain suddenly realizes it doesn't have the processing power to generate an entire false reality. Interesting. It's the time now in my area. Why do you want to know, Calvin? You looking to break into my bank account or something? <laughs> Real befeated hours, yes. Yeah, we are all just playing the obnoxious game of life, so I guess that's your answer, Calvin. Hold on, I'm trying to hold off a sneeze. This is so annoying. 
this guy, I don't remember his name, is befeated. Fuck yeah. It's one less blue piece to worry about. God. The designing around Lapper's area, his section of the board, not a fan of it. Just curious. Well, it's like nine. No, actually, it's like eight. If it was nine, I would have to leave. I don't know where this. I don't. I don't. I don't what the fuck? Get in there. That's not it either. What the? Get out of here. I gotta tell you, I'm real sick of these puzzle pieces telling me lies. Tell me all your sweet, sweet little lies. All about the dark places you had. Tell me all your problems make them mine. Tell me all your sweet, sweet little lies. Yeah. Music time. Oh, this is Gyarados with the stupid spikes. They're everywhere. His name is Kyle. Oh shit, well I guess I befeated Kyle. Let's take that, Kyle. I can't say I've known too many Kyles in my day. You're right, Calvin. I can do this. Probably. I don't know. That one I know goes there. Yes. Ah, Gyarados is... He's, his body is almost as annoying as Charmeleon. It goes... Does it connect there? Ooh, how convenient. Lapras is the true final boss. I was thinking it's more like Blastoise, because he's kind of annoying too. There's just so much blue and kind of gray and a little bit of white. I don't know. His hands are like three separate puzzle pieces. I don't... How are people dealing with this? This guy must be gigantic. Kyle took your little Debbie snack at third grade. Well, I hope he's in jail. <laughs> it's like the ultimate child revenge. If like somebody was a dick to you in school and you find out later, oh, they're in jail, you're like, hmm, no, I get it. I know why they're in jail. Like, uh, Justin Greenwood. I hope that guy's in jail. I mean, he might be. He was up to some weird shit. I don't even know if his last name is Greenwood anymore, but I don't give a fuck about possibly doxing him. He was a dick. Hmm. No, you know what? I think I got it. Yeah. Cosmic brownies are the best little Debbie snack. I didn't get those snacks in school. You know what I fucking wanted? I wanted Dunkaroos. My mom wouldn't let me have them, though. I don't even know if they still sell those anymore.
Yeah. Yeah. Go me. Probably look it up. Pretty sure criminal records are public info. Yeah, but I heard he changed his last name when his parents got divorced, so, you know. I'm not really interested in finding him anyway. I think he tried to friend me on Facebook once, like, forever ago, and I was just like, dude, do you even know who the fuck you are? Like, actually, has anybody, like, had that happen? Like, anybody who was there when Facebook, like, just became a thing in high school? And, like, everybody from elementary school was, like, trying to be friends and everything? That, that fucking guy. Jesus Christ, gambling. That's rude. You know, there were so many guys in my elementary school. It's, it's probably just because it was a fucking Catholic school. Like, there were so many guys that you would think that, like, were, like, they were reasonably cute. And I was just like, okay. But then they all turned out to be douchebags. Because they were all just, like, fucking making fun of me. I was just like, are you kidding me, dude? We could've had a good thing here. That good thing being me being reasonably attracted to you. But you ruined it. <laughs> I don't know, what the hell? What? What? Okay, now that does make sense. It goes there, I guess. I don't fuck it. The oatmeal cream pies, I've had some of those. They're not, like, the best. Like, you definitely do better. To say that. It's like a, I don't know what that thing is. It's stupid. Got a few pieces of this dude. I picked them out ahead of time. Hasn't been helping at all. Fuck me. Easier if I could stand up. They perfectly represent mediocrity. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, little Debbie snacks, they're they're not great in general. Well, I don't know if they are little Debbies, but um, you know, uh, our caramels. That's, at least that's what they call them here. Those are pretty good. Oh, I see. That is a vague part of that dude's head. Whatever. Guys, don't be throwing so much shade in the comments or in the chat. You guys need to get along and be friends. Oh, that guy better not be about to call me. Like, no, do not call me. I'm not available for a phone call right now or ever. Uh, 
I don't even know. It's vaguely that. Alright. Fuck. Okay. I think that's right, I don't know. Nope, they're not getting along nicely. Everybody's so mean. They're all fighting and shit. I'd be a terrible kindergarten teacher. My dreams have been crushed. I don't know where this goes. What? It doesn't go. Stupid. What the fuck is with this music? The video I clicked on was relaxing Pokemon music. This is not relaxing. <laughs> Why would you be arrested for assault? Are you gonna be attacking these children? <laughs> Well, there's some good news at least. And here, yes, very good. Finally. No. I'm ruined. Destroyed. Tormented. Typical Gen 4 music not being relaxing. I know, right? This is totally killing my vibe. I don't have the wherewithal to change it though. Hello, Patrick C. We're doing well, but we're not do we're not doing relaxed because this music is just ridiculous. It's really killing the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this this is another part of Gyarados's awful body. Him and his fucking snake dragon shit. If kindergarten isn't real, it's a myth perpetuated by the ki big kinder industry. People are disagreeing with you. It's just another day on the internet. I'm putting these out here, all these blue pieces. I'm putting them out here. Sick of dealing with them. More to the point. Uh... This is that. I gotta, I gotta pick up the pace. I only got an hour. Fuck me, I dropped a piece. This is what happens when you try to speedrun your puzzles. You don't have any time to think about things, to think about your life. There's no relaxed element to it. The music isn't relaxing because it's from a, a bad upload. You know? Life is pain. Check that shit out. This should be simple, but I know it's not going to be. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. I felt it. Your shitty phone died. Oh, facts. I have to order a case. I don't know how, but my phone got scratched. Thankfully, it was off the screen. And this is why we need bezels. Like, you know... The less bezels there are, the more chances that it's gonna be your screen that gets damaged, not the part that's slightly off of it. Apartment got flooded- Ah, oh, fuck, that sucks, Patrick. I'm sorry to hear that. It's just one of those days. Oh yeah! Speaking of misfortune, I should tell you guys, I was at a campground it was really more of a trailer park. And this huge fucking thunderstorm rolled in with a lot of wind. It was really scary. And then when we got out of the trailer because the thunderstorm was over, turns out one of the friends of my parents, his truck, just a big fucking branch, just landed on the top of his truck. Just... It, the thing was destroyed. Like, undrivable. They had to take it away on a flatbed. 
I put a picture of it on Twitter. You, sh you should go see it. It's fucked up. It's just like one of those things after a rainstorm where like I wasn't wearing shoes because like there's no fucking point. Because my sandals just kept getting dirty. So it's just like, oh, I'm wearing bare feet. This gravel sure hurts. Now, nothing, nothing happened, like, fortunately, even, like, it's a trailer park, but there's a lot of trees everywhere. It's basically in the middle of the woods. But fortunately, nothing happened to our trailer. One of the guys had, like, his awning, like, on their trailer break, so that sucked. But, um, yeah, nobody was in the truck when the thing hit, so that's good. Plus, it was a really old truck, so, like, you're probably not gonna get that much on insurance, but, you know, them's the brakes. Yeah, I know, right? Ew, weather. Can you imagine living in a universe with fucking weather? <sighs> Except, you know... As much as I would love to have perfectly predicted weather that, like, may be controlled to be as nice as possible by some sort of machine, I, I didn't see Geostorm, but I know how that shit goes. Somebody's gonna take it over, cause a bunch of fucking hurricanes and shit. I guess the only way to prevent it would be make sure that, like, it can't make hurricanes. But I don't know how you would test for that. There's a thunderstorm coming to you right now. There's a thunderstorm coming to me tonight. Probably. I don't know. That's what they say. It's just what they say. I don't know if I believe it. <laughs> yeah, dude. I am supremely looking forward to moving the fuck out of here. Just... Last night at work, I didn't get enough sleep beforehand. I was just so out of it. I was just hiding in meeting rooms with the lights off and just losing my fucking mind. I'm just like, I just want to move the fuck away. Because, like, it's one thing to be stuck in a bad job, but it's another thing to be stuck in a bad job and you can't do anything because there's a fucking pandemic going on and you have to come home to this fucking place. I don't even have a closet door. I think they threw them out. <sighs> How tall am I? 5'6 on a good day. On a bad day, 5'5 five, five and a half. blue pieces out here. I am blazing through this. This puzzle is getting defeated and I cannot be stopped. Okay, maybe this could stop me. What the fuck is this supposed to be? What? The I don't know what that is, but it's pissing me off. You want to move out of the whole country. Yeah, I feel ya. It's difficult, though. Don't try coming to Canada. The immigration process takes forever. And you can't just, like, marry your way in. You still have to, like, pass, like, exams and shit. Does this go here? Motherfucker, I thought it was too big. My bad day, you mean you're hunching like a grouchy confederate? No, I'm just saying I don't want to admit to being 5'5". Five five. So, you know. I should be taller, but I didn't get any sleep as a child. I stayed up late playing Pokemon. And Animal Crossing. But I always fell asleep during Animal Crossing. 
I had like an entire grove of peach trees that I would try to like harvest and then sell because like, you know, back in Wild World, none of the items stacked so you could only get like a certain amount of fruit in your inventory and sell them. And it was really boring doing that, so I'd always fall asleep when it got too late. It wasn't great for my economics. <laughs> I'm gonna move to North Korea if all else fails, dude. That's whack, yo. Like, you know, I think the main thing is learning French. That's that's the big one. If you know French, then like you've got a good chance of getting in. I don't know French. I've tried to learn it. I can't do it. The pronunciation fucks me over every time. I've heard that the way they teach French is flawed. Like they use grammar that like people in everyday French conversation do not use. So that kind of slows everything down. I don't know. Doctor thinks you have something severely wrong with your height and weight. I thought your weight, like, depended on your height. Like, your BMI will be higher if you're shorter. I don't know. Some dumb shit like that. Knowing French is required to move to Canada. Well, it's not required. It's just... Okay, listen, I don't remember how the immigration process goes, like, today. But when I was in school, how they taught it was that there was a point system. So... Uh, you get like, you have to get like above a certain amount of points to be able to move in, and knowing French or being fluent in French gives you more points, so you have a, a better chance of getting in. At least that's how I remember it working. I don't know if they changed it or something. I haven't been trying to immigrate to Canada recently, considering I live here. Yeah, board of time. What? Well, in Animal Crossing, they're about to add diving, so you gotta get back into it. I'll admit, I haven't played it in like a week, though. Canada used to be a French colony. Yeah, but nobody likes Quebec. It's. It's good for a government job, but I would say the majority of Canada does not speak French and they're perfectly fine. Like, I don't know. They just want you to know what to move in, in case you do end up in Quebec. I don't like it there. It's a, it's a very dull province. Just... Montreal? I, I just don't like Montreal. Every time I've been there, it's just been so gray. And the... The roads are just like... Not like the roads themselves, like there's not like potholes or shit, there might be. But... The way the city layout is designed drives me crazy. It's just annoying to go through. Just learn one romance language. It makes all the others easier. I will say that I can kind of get away with reading French. I just can't speak it. Like, if somebody like gave me like a, a paragraph of French to read, I could reasonably get through it partially with guesses and partially with knowledge I've learned from Duolingo, but, you know, it's no walk in the park. I gotta speed this up. I gotta go fast. No, Gyarados, why are you like this? <sighs> I can't wait for the next episode of Pokemon Silver Wings. Like, that's the only anime I'm, like, legitimately excited for in, like, Pokemon. Because I'm pretty sure the next episode's gonna have that Alistair guy. And I want to know more about him. I want to know more about the Mask Kid. I guess that's just my personal preference, you know? Put a mask on a character, I'm all over it. England is the worst place to live. I can think of a few worse.
I don't need to know one romance language fluent for the rest to be a breeze, can't confirm. I would imagine, well, I don't know what the romance languages are. I would imagine that like French to Italian is a little bit easier. Don't know. I used to speak Italian when I was a kid, but I forgot it. Yeah, you gotta wear sunscreen to remain anti-aged or just stay out of the sun entirely. It's your choice. It's up to you. I mean, I think I've been doing a banger job of staying out of the sun considering I'm asleep when the sun is out. Really? Spanish to Romanian. Interesting. I would never would have considered that. Though to be honest, I'm not too interested in speaking Romanian, because I've never been to Romania. I recommend a good online course or way to learn French. I don't know. I just used du Duolingo. I got like 50% through it, but like, you know, I, I couldn't stick with it. I tried doing a college course online for French. It fucking sucked ass. Like, it was the lamest shit ever because uh, we didn't have to pay for textbooks, which is good, but the thing is, they tried to, like... Okay. Like, half of the course was just links to shitty French-based, like, language games that like a 12 year old might play and links to resources that were free online like links to YouTube videos made by some random lady or links that were dead entirely. It was as though they made the course in like 2007 and never updated it ever. There was no course interaction or anything like that. Just it sucked ass. It was terrible. I did manage to get an A minus in it though. Probably because it was so fucking terrible. Romanian is a romance language. Interesting. Lose that at pub trivia every time. Anyway. Gotcha. Hmm. <laughs> it's not happening. Oh wait, yes it is. <laughs> I will befeat you yet, Blastoise. Took French in high school can count to ten. <laughs> yeah, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. And then once you go past that, it gets completely fucking ridiculous. Like, un, deux, tres, or I don't remember, thirteen, quatorze. They say it, like, when you hear them say it in example videos or like, repeat after me audio like they say it so fucking dramatically do french people really talk like that that's not it oh there it is Aiken's Guide is good for learning Japanese. Oh, interesting. French counting is absolutely ridiculous. If I tried to do math in French, I would kill myself. It's awful. Like, I was... I believe when I was still learning from that terrible French college program, like, 
I uploaded a picture on Twitter of the various French numbers, and I was just like, what the fuck is this? Like, you'd think, like, the tens are obvious with, like, uh, what was it? 20 is Vank, Vank, and then 40 is, like, 40, 60 is 60, and then 80 is Katra Vank, which is four twenties. It's ridiculous. At least that's how I remember it. Either way, once you get into the thousands, it's also fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Drama is a key aspect of speaking French. Curious if Korean will be easier to learn than French. Uh, well, I don't know about speaking, but I have heard that Korean is easier to read because the language was designed to be easy to learn. Which, you know, I kind of wish they'd do that for a lot of other languages, but whatever. Like, I've heard you just need to learn, like, a few basic, like, shapes of how the language is formed, and then you can read pretty much anything. Which is really convenient. Not that I would know, I've never bothered to learn it. How do you govern a country with over 300 kinds of cheese? <laughs> Pokemon Puzzle League looks a little bit different than I remember. <laughs> Alright, very, very funny. Alright, I think I'm, I'm good on the blue pieces. I can start working on Pikachu a little bit. Really gotta math this out. I think I'll be done with time to spare. I legitimately do. Finally, I'm good at doing puzzles. <laughs> Professor Layton would be so proud of me. I don't know what this is. Pikachu, is this part of your head? What is wrong with you? Japanese is like the kid from class who went the extra mile for extra credit by making their language ridiculously hard. Yeah, well they based it off of Chinese and they were like, oh fuck Chinese, and then they just did whatever. I still don't know how you go from hiragana to kanji. It's absolutely ridiculous. Pikachu, what is wrong with your body? God. Had a Korean newspaper until your cat tore it up, which is weird because he never before in his life tore stuff up. He might just be racist. <laughs> wow. Harsh. I think the thing that, like, perfectly exemplifies, uh, how ridiculous the language of Japanese is, it's not really anything concrete. I just, it's the difference between shonen manga and seinen manga. They, like, have specific manga demographics that are like, this is for younger boys, and this is for, like, older men. Because in seinen manga, they use more complicated words and more kanji, because usually by the time you've reached old age, you're able to read those. <laughs> like, I think the whole thing of Japanese is you basically spend your entire life learning it if you're Japanese. Like, you can't just get to a base level and then just be like, okay, I'm good for the rest of my life. Like, you have to keep learning more of it. And that goes on into old age because there's so fucking much of it. Oh shit. They play in Lily's theme. Pikachu ruining our lives since 1994. To pass high school, you need to know almost 3,000 kanji. How many kanji are there? Now I'm curious. How many kanji are there? There's 50,000. There's 50,000! No wonder you don't fucking learn them all until you're an old man. Christ. Dude. Can you even imagine? 
like, going to school for fucking 18 years and only knowing, like, less than a fifth of your entire language? No wonder so many people give up on learning Japanese. This is ridiculous. What? No, I guess that is how it works. Imagine how many you use on a regular basis. Yeah, but still, like, English is a Frankenstein's monster of a language, but at least it makes a lot of sense. Like, basically, if I know all of the letters, like, all 26 of the letters, and, like, I know how to pronounce them in different situations, I can at least make a passing guess on how to pronounce and read most words. In Japanese, no fucking shot, bro. <laughs> like, when I go from, like, a word in hiragana to kanji, I don't even know how they made that transition. It's ridiculous. And just learn to speak it, have to know how to write it and read it first. I learned all the hiragana, and then I got to katakana, and then I fucking gave up, because katakana is really hard too. Oh shit, hold on. Yes! Lapras is befeated. Gotcha, bitch. I imagine most Americans only know a small chunk of the full English vocabulary. Yeah, but it doesn't take much to be literate in English. Kanji is the meaning, hiragana and katakana are the syllabaries. So if that's the case, then how are you supposed to know how to pronounce kanji? Like, each of them have, like, two different pronunciations, right? That's what really fucked me off. Hello, Clay Vertigo. Him and his freaking ears. I still gotta watch Detective Pikachu. I never got a chance to watch Sonic the Hedgehog in theaters either. That was disappointing. <sighs> I think they opened up the theater around here, but of course you still gotta wear a mask, so... I don't know, how can I watch a movie if my glasses are getting constantly fogged up? What do you mean I'm... I'm not delusional. I have hopes and dreams. That means I'm alive. Can you even imagine not being alive? Detective Pikachu was okay. The creepy people with Moshi Moshi in Japan over the phone is because according to mythology, Japanese spirits struggle speaking Japanese properly and can't repeat words. That's why? Okay, cool. Don't get it, but all right. I 
I think Japan's in such a weird situation because, you know, they had like, what, a few thousand years or hundred years on their own? They were just like, nobody can come in except the Dutch and they can only do it here. You know, you know, history of Japan. That's literally all I know about Japan's history. Was Dutch the exception? I don't know. I guess they were close. I don't fucking... They were just like... Maybe, like, by accident, some Dutch showed up at one port and they were like, Alright. You guys can chill here. shit I gotta deal with. Oh. In there. 200 year Sakoku period? The Dutch were less conversion minded and expansionist. Oh yeah, cause like every other I guess that makes sense. Every other like, like European nation was just like they show up everybody's just like, yeah we know what's up. Get the fuck out of here. Cause they were just like, they had to own everything. In Japan, I don't know, at some point in Japan's history, they also wanted to own everything. They took over a bunch of, like, shit in, near their territory. I don't know, fuck it. Japan's an island. I don't know anything. They closed all the ports with partially fear of European powers converting all people and taking over the country. Well, those fears were almost realized. I mean, you know, America showed up with big, giant fucking gunboats and was like, Open the country. Stop having it be closed. It's like, open this bitch up. We want anime. <laughs> Where the fuck does this go? Come on. Come on. What the fuck? Jesus. You can start the stream. The stream's almost over. I gotta leave soon. Dutch and Japan's relationship is like that scary Kudere who only cares for that one Dandere. I guess? Are Kudere's generally scary? <laughs> Alright, check this shit out. Blastoise is befeated. Do you see that shit? I'm great at this. Basically, they killed all the Christians for forbidden these smelly foreigners from stepping on the country and they pretty much tossed all the guns they had into holes and forgot about them. Yeah. And then somebody made a movie about them killing all the Christians and it was really bad. Listen to the ends farewell. Farewell, N. <laughs> so fucking dramatic. Well, it took me a lot of streams, yeah it did. Was too busy talking about cat boys to get the friggin' puzzle done. Japan world done with your bullshit, cut off your high horse and let us trade for your anime waifus. Yeah. I think Japan, like, eventually they will slowly but surely get dragged into the fucking 21st century. Did you know that their ATMs close? Their ATMs close at the same time the bank closes. I'm serious. It's ridiculous. 
And everybody has, like, a personal seal, you know, like a stamp that they have, so they can't, like, fax anything. Is... It's absolutely insane. Like, if... I don't know how they're doing with the pandemic, but if things get, like, really bad there, their entire country is fucked, because it literally can't work online. They've built it so that their country can't work online only. Yeah, something something tradition. Their tradition is choking them, which is why Gyarados is befeated. Japan is in hospice. That's it. They're in the hospital. They used to have the most guns out of any other country because it used to be such a chaotic clusterfuck. <laughs> yeah. Wearing masks is part of their tradition. I mean, that's cool. They still didn't shut anything fucking down. <laughs> and also, like, them wearing masks isn't, like, a good part of their tradition. It's just like, oh yeah, people go about wearing masks because taking a sick day is frowned upon. That's li That's the only reason. Anyway, it's about time that we... Fuck. Fuck. God fucking damn it, Pikachu. I'll fight you in the street. What the fuck? Why isn't... Okay, fuck you. <sighs> Pikachu, the mascot character, is befeated. The entire puzzle is befeated, and I did it, and I did it with time to spare. Because I'm great at this. <sighs> great, thanks guys. Thanks for, thanks for celebrating my victory. The evil is befeated, yeah. People need to learn to adapt when they have to. Yeah. Listen. Culture and traditions. Who gives a shit? Be a human advance with the rest of the world. Like, why the fuck do the ATMs close? Unless it is down for maintenance and ATM should be open 24 fucking 7. What happens now? Is PML over? I guess. <sighs> Happy Pride Month, everybody. <laughs> We get PML too. Oh yeah, I should start a new channel. Well, actually, first I gotta get enough people to sub to my live stream channel. I want to get up to a thousand. I want to monetize again. <laughs> I've. Wow, oh, there's a lot of dust in the air here. Listen, I have so many live streams that I could be making money off of ads on, but I can't because I don't have enough subs. It's bullshit. I know I have the watch time too. They're like, you need 4,000 hours? I'm like, I'm on that shit. I just need more subs. <laughs> we finished the puzzle, but at what cost? This cost. Look at all that fucking dust. You guys can't see the dust. I thought I turned autofocus off. Did I not do that? Okay, I did. What the fuck? I'm being, I'm being messed with. Will it be my next puzzle? I don't know. I think I might take a break from puzzles for a bit. I mean, let's face it. Without the uh, addition of a fandom puzzle, no one's going to be much interested in me solving puzzles in general. Like, you know? Everybody wants fandoms. Nobody wants my cupcake puzzles. The Dr. Disrespect ban? I don't know what that is. I can't play a game or something. I've only got 20 minutes left. Also, who the fuck is Dr. Disrespect? Dr. Disrespect. American internet celebrity? Oh, that's a bad sign. Who the fuck is this guy? He got a permanent Twitch ban with no reason given. Interesting. So he's just a guy with whack-ass sunglasses. I don't... I don't understand, like... 
What, did he do something racy on stream? <laughs> they got a picture of him at the fucking Game Awards with, like, a normal woman. He wore his streaming headphones to the Game Awards. <laughs> You have much an interest in me in general? Fine. Brime? What the fuck is Brime? Okay, recap. Dr. Disrespect has been banned from Twitch permanently according to sources and the fact that everyone is getting their subs refunded. No one knows why, even the usual set of leakers is not sharing. Ninja and Shroud have, like, have left Mixer and turned on contracts with Facebook Gaming. Good for them. But, you know, still. Fuck them for making all that money. They're going back to Twitch. They are. A 4chan post claimed that Ninja, Shroud, and Doc are starting their own Spotify-backed streaming service, and Doc was banned for breaking his recently signed Twitch contract and trying to poach other streamers. No one can talk about it because Google NDA, Spotify is not owned by Google. <laughs> uh, internet drama hound Keemstar elevated this theory to his 2.8 million followers, citing evidence that there's a new streaming startup called Brime that has a Twitter account following Dr. Disrespect, Ninja, and Shroud, and they'll be answering questions Monday the 29th. Doc had an image in his stream that said prepare for the 29th. Well, it is the 29th right now, so I don't know where that landed. Listen, you can make all the new streaming services you want. It's not gonna work. You're not gonna take down Twitch or YouTube. It's, like, it's been attempted. It's been failed. Like, it's like trying to make a new MMORPG to take down World of Warcraft. It didn't work then. Why would it work now? Should do a Homestuck reading? What? I tried Homestuck and I gave up. Yeah, I remember when kids didn't have contracts to go on YouTube? Oh my god. Anything else on this? Who's joining Brime? It's a code name based on the history of two names that were once a streaming site. How many people work for Brime? Four. Wow. Weird. Where do people get all the fucking capital to make this shit? The guy who wrote this article has a really weird picture. Anyway. A live stream reading of Homestuck. No, I don't understand how it works. Need a rebranding to get more subs. Well, definitely. I should become an ASMR channel, right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Those guys don't get subs. Unless they've been in the game for, like, ever. What should be my rebranding? Because, to be honest, I am getting kind of tired of the whole, like, regular-ass game reviews thing. The feeded box. Anyway. I just feel like I'm kind of letting everyone down. I don't know where to go from here. Twitch thoughting. Yeah, right. I'm not going back to Twitch. Dr. Disrespect gets banned from Twitch. What chance do you think I have? What kind of ASMR can I even do? I can do role plays. I could look up like a script and attempt to read it. You know what? I bet there's free scripts I could read. Do you want to, anybody want to see me do like a, a a script reading? I could I could prove myself. I could do this. Dude, all right. I'm going to I think we're pretty much done with the puzzle, so I can I can move my 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 laptop back. It's going to take me a minute. Hold on. Yep, there's the webcam. <laughs> there's the webcam connector. Fuck. It does what it wants. Don't worry about it. 
I'm gonna try to fill up my face on the screen. You're sick and yet curious, of course. A good place to be in for one of my live streams. Also, my microphone cord is all knotted up. Gross. Yuck. Fucking disgusting. Disgusting. You actually do use my recipes? Oof. Yikes. I gotta reset my image. Du -du -du. Reset transform. Wrong one. My bad. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that. It's fine. I'll turn off the picture, too. Reset transform. There's me. Here's my face. This would be a lot easier if my fucking mic cord wasn't in the way. Hold on. Whoop, there it goes. Perfect. Test your... Okay, alright. I don't know if I could make anybody fall asleep, because ASMR roleplays are really difficult to do well. How's my hands after that sanitizer? I'm still traumatized. The bathroom that I went to go wash them off in, it still smells bad. Like, every time I go in there, I can still smell it, like, vaguely. I'm just like, this fucking sucks. Like, how did they make- <sighs> Is that what, like, pure alcohol smells like? I don't- like, what the fuck? I do normal roleplay, no ASMR. Alright. I'll look up a script. I'm sure they've got them for, like, I don't know one of those audio forums or something. Um, ASMR, roleplay, script. Sure. Oh, there's a whole Reddit for that. <laughs> ASMR script haven. Alright, fuck it. I would assume that there's a lot of... most of this ASMR group is women. I could be one. What do, you, what do you guys want? Should I... I should probably make my face, like, a little bit bigger? Like... I don't know. I'll, I'll find a script here. What, what are you guys in the mood for? ASMR roleplay. You're a medieval doctor trying to console someone with the plague. Hmm. That might be a bit hard to find a script for. I'd have to make my own. Dude in French for bonus points. No! Oh, it is a real thing. Okay, well, they don't give the scripts for free. Uh, huh. Wait, why is this all boyfriend ASMR? That's not what I'm looking for. Ooh, F or A, your shy guardian angel part two. Interesting. Cool. Where's the script? Oh, it's a Google Docs. Alright, Jesus. Really getting serious with this. Is this part one? I don't- this is so confusing. How do people do this? Why is the first thing I heard upon walking in a room PML con contemplating if she could join an ASMR group? <laughs> I've only got 10 minutes to do this. I better make this quick. I'll just open it up in a smaller window. I'll add it in so you guys can see it. Da -da 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 -da. Add window capture. Okay. Yep, that's it. Oh no! Don't look at my profile. You can't see that. You don't need to know who I am. My Google account is a secret. Anyway, make my face smaller. I 
I wish I could be a plague doctor. I'm gonna do a plague doctor ASMR. You can't fucking stop me. This is my rebranding. This is who I am now. Anyway, your shy guardian angel helps you overcome your insecurities. Last time, the human found themselves in a cycle of self-loathing. Thanks to your intervention, they gradually rebuilt their sense of self-worth. Jesus, this is like really heavy shit. As a result, the human now not only sees their value, but their potential for success as well. The human now possess, pursues their goals and dreams that they once thought were impossible. However, this pursuit has left the human feeling inadequate and lacking. Why? The human compares themselves too much with others and expects too much of themselves. Jesus, this is, this is way too fucking serious for me. Thus, they've called you once more, and you, with your abundance of adorable shyness. <laughs> okay. May have a few tricks to your sleeve to help them relax. After all, you are their guardian angel. Are you not? I don't know, fuck it. Might fuck around and be a guardian angel. <laughs> oh, we've got sound effects and emphasis. We've got stuttering. <laughs> this isn't sexy at all. You're right. This is like the opposite of a plague doctor. I don't know. I'm having a great time with this. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna try to say this uh, totally embarrassing myself. <laughs> uh, anyways, you called for me, right? Is there anything- oh. Is everything alright? You look so tired and worn out. I'm- I'm going way too hard into it. Let's just- I'll just do this as dramatically as possible, just for the lulls. You- you feel as if you're not good enough? Wh why do you feel this way? It seems that everyone is just doing better, regardless of how hard you try. Oh yeah, there's no response, so it's just, I have to say that, I guess. I see. That's why you're so stressed. You don't deserve to experience this, especially someone as special as you. <laughs> but I can help you see all this differently, so it will be less stressful going forward. So, um... May I explain? <laughs> Yikes. Make your voice all squeaky and high-pitched. Oh, like a Lucky Star character? <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to help. Breathe in and out slowly one time. It's to help. It's time to help them. <sighs> Sympathetic slash endearing. <laughs> you gotta give us five seconds of silence. Oh, okay, my bad. This sounds like the opening to a shitty hentai. <laughs> You're right, it does. Okay, okay. I can see how it's not easy to deal with this feeling of inadequacy, especially when others around you seem like they're racing ahead and you feel left behind. Right now, you may feel unfulfilled despite how much you've worked, but the stress and fatigue from all the work you've put in, I see it as a sign of serious effort, and your drive to pursue something meaningful to you, something you care about, that alone is a huge success, and I just want to say, I'm proud of you. Sometimes, it's difficult to resist the urge to compare yourself to others. However, I would rather you define your success not in how much others accomplish, but how far you've come since you started. And I think you've come very far. Is this a, is this a stereotypical anime voice? Am I doing it right? <laughs> is this how they sound in the animes? <laughs> What do you mean you haven't accomplished much? No, that's not true. The fact that you're willing to be so honest about your problems and ask for help is an accomplishment in itself. So, please, don't be too hard on yourself. Sound more manly. <laughs> this isn't kawaii sugoi enough. I'm sorry, I sound like a dude. <laughs> you will sound more manly. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll try to lower my voice. Eager yet timid. You know what? I think it's best I help you relax and unwind, so I've been wanting to ask you for some time now, but is it okay if I cook you something? It will take your mind off the stress you're feeling. That's what humans call comfort food, right? You'll allow me? Thank you. That means a lot to me. I just fucking sound like Bill and Ted. I sound like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I don't sound manly at all. No. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> I sound sick. I'm sorry. 
Ah, uh, I guess my regular voice is manly enough. <laughs> what will I make? I think the humans call it angel hair pasta because fuck the idea of subtlety. <laughs> What? No! It's not made for my hair, silly. I would never make you food so... unappetizing. Anyway, please wait here for a moment. Momentary pause slash optional cooking sounds. And it's done! Record time! Is your mic supposed to be closer, ASMR? Yeah, but, you know, I'm, my mic's over there. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let, let me, maybe I should do this with an accent, like a country accent. It's done. What's that saying humans have? Uh, bone appetit, right? Bone apple teeth. <laughs> I just hope it's not too bad. Uh, how is it? It's delicious. In fact, it's so delicious that Gordon Ramsay would give it three Michelin stars. <laughs> Way to go. Great writing. <laughs> Cheerful happiness. It's delicious? Yay, I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> Sexy teeth, Seth Angel. Well, I mean, there are people that, like, do ASMR that legitimately have accents. So I don't know, somebody could pull it off. I've always wanted to do something like this for you. It just makes me so happy to see you enjoy yourself, you know? Hmm. Hey, do you want to know a fun fact? Did you know that it's impossible to smile while you breathe through your nose? Just kidding. I just wanted to see you smile. I love seeing you smile. It makes me smile too. I'm kind of pulling this off. <laughs> I don't know, is that what Reba sounds like? <laughs> Nobody says yay, alright? It's a script. Nobody would say yay in real life. I know y'all's like y'all's tea sweeter than grandmama's peach cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> You're suing. This gives you nightmares. Well, now it's time for fluffy wholesomeness. Oh, of course. Show you the wings, obviously. You want me to show you my wings? Uh, okay. Give me a sec. Wing flap. Something like that. Um, if I may ask, why do you want to see my wings? Are they pleasing to look at, or... You want to fluff them? Oh, this is getting lewd. If it will help you relax, then go ahead. I don't know how to do a stereotypical Canadian accent, and it's because I'm Canadian. I don't know how to do it. I would show you my wings. If I was still in my deviant art phase, I would be pretending I have them. I never expected you to enjoy this so much, but as long as, but as, long as it helps you relax, then they bury their face into your wings. Ooh. Ah, it's getting, it's getting lewd. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll let you fluff my wings. Hey, what are you? Don't bury your face in my wings so suddenly. It's embarrassing. Oh, whoa, looks like she's a bit of a tsundere. I fucking hate this. <laughs> you think my wings are breathtaking? No. You're breathtaking. Th this is why I sounded like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> You're breathtaking. You lovable... Idiot. Nobody's ever said that about my wings. Huh? I, I didn't say anything. You're imagining things. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Annoyed and still embarrassed. I just... Angry pout. <laughs> you're enjoying this, aren't you? Fluffing my wings as you please, burying your face into them. A am I enjoying this? It's not like I enjoy it or anything. Baka. I just want to help you relax, that's all. I'm blushing? Well, yeah, of course I'm blushing. Whose fault do you think this is? You idiot. Baka. I don't really feel like I'm suiting out, but I'm trying my hardest. I think that's enough for now. Are you feeling content? I don't know. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, are you feeling better? No. Good, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I just realized something. Did I ever tell you my name? I didn't. Oh, this is... That's just roleplay-itis. Nobody ever names anything. My name is... Neferia. <laughs> Neferia, huh? Put more emotion into it. I don't know. 
I'll I'll make I'll make a like a fake ASMR, release it on the Discord, get some reviews in. Maybe I can rebrand myself as a gamer slash ASMR dude. <laughs> I don't know who you are anymore, though. Unsub. If I try to do this in my regular voice, it's not gonna sound right. You're simping for me? <laughs> Adeline, you've come in at a weird time. <laughs> my name is Neferia. And, um, what is your name? It would be rude for me not to ask that. Oh, I think your name is very nice. Much like you. I can't giggle. It's not gonna work. Hey, I need to tell you something. Just in case you forget, okay? I will always be there for you. Whenever you need me. Wherever you are. Always. Why would I go so far for you? Well, after all, I am your guardian angel. Yes, yours. You lovable idiot. Baka. He he he. I don't know how to giggle. I can't do it. Anyway, I need to get the fuck out of here. I gotta go to work. But I'll be back. Eventually. Probably. I don't know. Fuck it. I don't have to work tomorrow. That was terrible. Great. I'm glad I I'm glad I improved everything by making it awful. I don't know. Maybe I'll do this like when I give up on streams, like I run out of time, I'll just be like, "Hey, I'll do like an ASMR stream just for the fuck of it." <laughs> All right, applause in the chat for Patrick C. Thank you for the $5. <laughs> Earlier I stole your profile and credit card info. I almost feel bad so here. Thanks. I'll, I'll use that to rebuild my credit. Maybe I won't report you for fraud. <laughs> You're wide awake now? Good. Wake up, bitch. <laughs> Tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I tried to do ASMR. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. All right, I'm out of here. I gotta go to work. Thank you all for tuning in. And peace. Puzzle is befeated ASMR. <laughs>